Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you a video on how you can get approved for a $2,500 line of credit, even with bad credit with Ava. Now, if you're new to my channel, I bring you information no matter where you are on your credit journey. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. On this channel, we're credit education and not credit repair. Now, I want to give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can use this line of credit to increase your credit score. Now, if you've been following my information on my channel, I tell you guys, if you got under a 700 credit score, you can increase your score without removing one negative item by adding on credit cards or unsecured lines of credit. Remember, credit utilization is 30% of your credit score. So if you don't have a credit card or if your cards are using more than 30% of its utilization, you are affecting your credit score in a negative way. So your score is going to be lower. By adding on a line of credit, you can increase your credit score if you're under a 700 credit score. But people that have a 700 credit score and above need to try another technique if they're trying to increase their credit score, this would not be for them. But for those of you that's under a 700 credit score, this can help. Now, with credit utilization, like I said, you want your overall utilization on your credit report below 30%. So if you're a person that already have higher utilization, so let's say you're around 50%, on your utilization, on your credit score, by adding this line of credit, you can reduce that utilization and increase your credit score. So if you're a person that have negative information by adding this on, you can increase your credit score if you're under a 700 credit score. This can be very helpful. Now, another point where this line of credit can help you improve your credit score is if you're a person with very small credit lines, like a $500 credit line, $700 credit line, and every time you apply for a credit card, you just seems to be stuck with these little small credit lines, and that can help max out your credit cards quicker because you don't have enough line of credit in order to use that card. So I always tell you the hack on if you want bigger credit lines, you need to report larger lines of credit on your credit report. Now, you used to be able to be added on as an authorized users and a bank will look at that as your own credit worthiness. But now they're not doing that. They want to see that you got your own line of credit on your own merit. So they want it to be a primary line of credit and banks only trust of the banks. So once they see that you have a larger primary line of credit reporting in your name, the next bank is more apt to give you a bigger line of credit. For example, if you report a $2,000 credit card on your credit report, most likely the next bank will report or give you a $2,000 line of credit, or they may give you more because they already seen that a financial institution trusted you on your merit. So this can help improve those who don't have a credit line larger than this $2,500 credit line. Now, how this line of credit works, they report this line of credit to all three major credit bureaus. So it will help you increase your credit scores across the board. Now, with this company, what they're going to do is use your subscriptions to help you build credit, like with your Netflix subscriptions that you would be 
paying off of this line of credit and they would connect to your bank account to help you then build your credit with on-time payments because they will pay the payment out of your savings or checking account for you. And so you will have this on autopilot and you don't have to be concerned about missing a payment. Now they do have two options. They have the credit card option that would be a MasterCard logo. But keep in mind, you guys, you cannot use this to rent a car, to uh, rent a hotel room. It's just to help you build credit. Now, what you can do once you get this line of credit, then wait till it report to your credit report and see your score increase. And then you can turn around and apply for another credit card that is in your credit category. So I want to go over the Q&A with you guys so we can break this down into details. Now, here are the commonly asked questions section on the overview of why AVER exists. It's a low cost way to help people start to improve their credit scores because credit is very important and people need it for just about everything nowadays for you to have a better credit score. Now, they also have a savings program with uh, with uh, Ava, where you can make monthly payments and it's going to be an installment account to help build your credit. So with that, you'll have two things functioning. The one credit card that will help you build on-time payment on that credit card because it'll give you a $2,500 credit line, but your subscription spend amount will be no more than $25. And as you make that on-time payment, they'll report it to the big three credit bureaus and they will pay for the balance that's due seven days after you use the card and you will connect to your bank account and it report the positive utilization on your credit report. Now with the uh, credit builder, with the savings uh, program, what would happen, you would put $21 a month into a wallet for 12 months. And then after the 12 months, this will help improve your credit score. And then you'll get the money back at $252. So uh, depending on where you are in your credit journey, I tell you guys, if you're trying to get approved for a home, I would stray away about installment accounts or if you're trying to get approved for uh, an apartment coming up because it can reduce how much you can afford. But if you're a person that is new to credit and you really need um age of credit, this could be a great opportunity to help you with building your credit. Now, Ava do report to all three major credit bureaus, which is awesome. Now, the breakdown for the cost of the service is $6 a month, and there's no hidden fees, no interest charges, and this can help you towards your goal. Like I said, if you guys are using this to increase your credit score, I encourage you that when this line of credit report, that you immediately try to apply for a another line of credit, especially if you don't have any new negative items on your score. You want to find companies that are looking for your credit profile because you will see a increase in your credit score on average of 50 points if you're already under a 700 credit score. And if you're a person that has really low scores, you may see a bigger uh, increase in your score, like 80 points. And like I mentioned, it report to all three major credit bureaus, but under the Q&A section, it shows you they report by the 10th of the month. So if 
I were you guys to try to save myself the expense, I wouldn't uh, try to sign up for this on the 9th of the month or even the 11th or the 12th, somewhere around maybe the 25th of the month to go ahead and sign up to make sure it has enough time to report for you. Or like I said, um, you don't want to be paying for this and it's on the 10th that you're signing up. You know it's going to take a full month before you see this report on your credit report because they are reporting to the bureaus around the 10th. So hopefully this information was helpful to you guys. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave it in the comment section. But if you have questions for me personally, you can contact me at my website. The link is always in the description of the video and submit your questions to me and they go directly to my cell phone. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.